Ladies and gentlemen, for more than four decades, I have been working on the ground with the underprivileged people in rural Thailand. I'm a doer. For 20 years, I have used Sustainable Alternative Livelihood Development, or SALD, a process which has evolved into what's today termed social entrepreneurship to tackle one of the most pressing issues of our time, poverty, the root cause of many social and economic problems that we face today. In the world where we work, people deplete their natural resources, grow drugs, and engage in armed conflict. These are symptoms of poverty and lack of opportunity. It is truly a survival world where people are living from hands to mouth. We are, for, we are people centric and focus our work on underprivileged people. Those at the bottom of the pyramid to bridge the gap of the economic and social. We use simple, practical and logical approach to help the people to help themselves that is sustainability. Effective development is more than just giving money. It must be holistic and integrated. Be addressing the basic health problems, alternative livelihood options, formal and informal education, which are the foundation of human security. We start our project with high impact, quick hits, showing immediate results and building trust by caring for health problems, improving immediate term food production, moving people from survival to subsistence living with enough to eat and strength to work. But development must be more than subsistence. Our economic forest with crops like macadamia provides long-term program ensuring a secure income and surpluses for the future. We chose macadamia because of its high market price and high potential for value creation. 18 years ago, when CSR was little heard of, we convinced both Thai and foreign firms to form a company which is managed by our foundation, allowing for jobs creation and post-harvest investment. This concept of value chain is very important. If we are to break through poverty barrier, we must maximize our outcomes from limited resources, moving people from subsistent to sufficient. Single prong approach to business is risky. Therefore, diversification must be considered. At Daitung, we have four main businesses, handicrafts, food, agriculture, and tourism. Each year, we receive one million to visitors and earn over 15 million US dollars of income. The profit generated from the businesses all goes back in form of health care support, progressive education and scholarships, natural resource management, transforming vicious cycle to the virtuous one. We lead by doing and act as stewards. We provide assistance until they are able to stand on their own two feet and manage the businesses. Then ownership is transferred to sustainable and self-reliant communities. We allowed, we always follow the five fundamental S's with a base of physical and food security. Under the umbrella of stewardship, we move from survival to subsistence to sufficiency and finally sustainability. What can the world learn from this? Management for the common good is not a mere science. It is a moral art we need to develop. Making decisions based on facts and figures and drive for profit is ultimately destructive. Personal greed led us to lose our logic and common sense. As leaders, management should not only come from your head, but from your heart. Isn't it time now to learn to take a little less and give a little more for the future of the well-balanced world? Thank you.